special. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to download Sentinel-2 image using QGIS software. So before getting started, we require two plugins for it and we must have an active intent connection. Now move on to the plugins. Here select the option manage and install plugins and let it get to connected to the server. On the top, you can find the search option. Here, first we are going to install the plugin called as SCP Semi-Automatic Classification Plugin. So this is the plugin and at the bottom you can see the option install for me it is not showing because I have already installed it. After installing this uh, semi-automatic classification plugin we are going to install another tool open layers plugin. So you can see the open layers plugin. Uh, you can just install this plugin and after that close it. Now you can see on the top SCP after installing the semi-automatic plugin you can see the option SCP in the menu, uh, menu toolbar and here select the option download products after selecting option download products here you can see the login data so here I have a I'm having the username uh, for the uh, data access from Earth Explorer so if you don't know how to create an account for accessing the data from Earth Explorer I have made a video for it you can just watch it and you can get uh, useful information from it and if you are having the uh, sentinel user uh, user id and password you can just use the center sentinel uh, user id and password and yes you can see here use alternative search for sentinel2 no authentication required so it is not required for sentinel2 okay so now after this option go to the option search and here we are going to uh, mark the uh, lat long that is a uh, left hand side corner and left hand side top corner and right hand side bottom corner. So for that you can see the option called as set area in the map. Select the set area in the map. After that I am going to choose the products. Here I am going to select Sentinel-2 product and here I am going to specify the date. For example I require it from uh, 2020. June 1st to March 2023 so this is the timeline and after selecting the timeline you can see the option maximum cloud coverage here let me give 10 percentage as the maximum cloud coverage you can restrict it or you can minimize it uh, based on your requirement and finally you can see the results how much results to be do you want to see so here you can select 20 or 30 or 10 likewise and finally you can see the option OSM select the option OSM so automatically the open street map will be open in the QGIS so so now you can see here now let me go into a specific location so for example so I am interested in this region so this uh, water body so first we are going to mark the left hand side top corner using the left click after that we are going to mark the right hand side bottom corner using the right click option so now you can see here I have made the area of interest if you want you can increase the uh, uh, left hand uh, sorry uh, right hand side bottom corner for example I need to extend it I need up to here once again uh, right click the area will be increased likewise if you want to increase the uh, uh, left top corner use the left click wherever you require for example I need it till here you can just click on here using the left click you can see the area has been begin likewise you can decrease it in the same manner by using the left click over here and right click over here and let me move on to the SCP plugin section now we have uh, marked the locations now hit the button find so now we have got the results you can see the images 
so these are the images you can see the black color image and you can see the white color image so the black color image is not available uh, you can select the white color images so you can see here let me click over here and you can have the preview of this image so this is not the correct image which I am looking for so let me click and check whether this image is correct yeah this one is good but uh, it is very much cloudy so likewise you can just uh, select the images up, uh, approximately appropriately so I just go on with this image this one so I am just interested in this lake area so I am going to go with this image you can also have the preview in the QGIS click on this option and minimize this tool you can see here you can have the preview of this image likewise so let me go back and now you can download this image for example if you want to pre-process those images you can pre-process I think it might be taking some time so I'm just going to download this so once again hit the button run here I'm going to select a folder and let me create a folder for it so now you can see here so this is around 106 MB so yeah I think this is a single image so that will be downloaded a single image size is around uh, 106 each band has its own size so that you can see over here and uh, it uh, requires some time so let us wait for it so after downloading the image will be automatically loaded in the QGIS so let me remove the uh, temporary layer and you can see the check the bands band number one so likewise you can download the sentinel images so here around 12 bands are there you can check the bands and you can perform further more analysis so thanks for watching if you have any doubts in this you can just ask in the comments section goodbye everyone